Hey, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you my process to taking, let's say, a scenario which you got from your user research in identifying key touch points and then designing say, a product design effort. And in this case, I have this fictitious scenario where uh, some employees within, a, let's say, a company handle the parcels and ship you, I don't know, kicks, you know, sport shoes, some, something like that. And as you can see, let's say typically that person goes through these steps, right? So let's say it handles a parcel, it sends a parcel, it then is allowed to check it on an app and see exactly what parcel is doing uh, among other parcels because let's say they send so many a day. And when we close the app, we might get some notifications if something changes within the app. And then we can launch it again, preview the status and take action if needed and then just close the app. So simple journey, simple scenario to cover. and. Right off the bat, I identified a couple of screens, let's say, which I want to represent. And imagine that at this point, we're just prototyping to get stakeholder buy-in and just painting a vision, a picture of, you know, how those screens could look like. And I think the key ones could be something like just opening an app and just seeing, let's say, that the parcel is logged. So let's say a parcel list of sorts. And lastly, just previewing the map of where that parcel it is at the moment. So that's just two screens. So I'm gonna go ahead and produce those screens in Sketch, just purely from, what, let's say, what I know. It's gonna be a lot of guesswork, but that's fine. Imagine that it's research-based at this point. And I'm just gonna ideate and put it in place. And then let's say I, I could validate if stakeholders or users or you know whatever on a high level, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead, make a couple of wireframes first, and then let's take that to sketch and in sketch, just go crazy. And let's say time it for maybe 20 minutes. And let's see 20 minutes. Let's see what I get in those two different mockups. Cool. I think we're in a good shape. So as you can see for those two key steps, let's say I ideated my team, we came up with some features to add, which would answer our user needs based on research. And so I put them into a couple of screens right away. These are high level like wireframes. As you can see, we have menu option, settings option, all the parcels in transit, let's say, or active or whatever. Uh, we might add some sort of sorting option as well. You know, it's up to you really how you want to do that. And then we have support option as well as what happens if, let's say, user taps on one of the items and they get that map type of outlook right here. And as you can see, it's in transit. We have some options on the map as well and we can go back and maybe do some extra options uh, with that. So for example, maybe our support option also is available somewhere here too. Again, this is fictitious. So you need to do research. You need to talk to your team with technology, with stakeholders, users, you know, everyone involved who has some stake in it. And now as we have these two wireframes, what I can do next is just basically connect to my external monitor, put this up and then product design it in sketch. And right off the bat, I'm going to create a new artboard and let's make it mobile. So let's say could do something like iPhone 8 plus maybe. That should be pretty good. So it's gonna be 20 minutes max. So for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna just design this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to maybe snazzy map just to download a sample. Let's pick one which is quite neutral. So maybe that quite like the look of this. Something like that. Um, right off the bat, just gonna take screenshots because not to waste too much time. Again, we are time limited here. Boom. I'm gonna start by putting in some fragments here and there. So for example, for this, our block might as well just make a box like so. Let's say make it white. That's pretty good, especially for a really quick mock-up. And next, I just wanna replicate some bits. So I'm just gonna add maybe let's say a shipping route or something like that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some text items to our item. Boom, in transit. Again, I would recommend to add some icons if you can. Why the hell not? 
let's soften that shade just a little bit like so. And now I'm just gonna replicate the same item across. Again, I'm not using symbols uh, because I'm force producing this. So now we got ourselves a basic view of an app. Uh, what we're missing, let's take a look at our wireframes is a couple of icons here and there, your parcels info block. So I can just copy the text item and just save this. I'm gonna pick the shade from the text itself. So it's gonna flow quite nicely from one item to the other. Again, if you want to play with it, be my guest. Let's see the composition, way too big. We can make it even smaller, like so. And an icon for settings as well. And we got ourselves a simple app. We just need to maybe make it a bit lighter so it's not as prominent. I don't really like that so sharpen in your face. We have those parcels ready and listed. Next, the only item which I have two minutes only to finish is the support one. Quick, 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 quick. Just on time. Okay, this is 10 minutes on one mock-up. We, I would definitely keep on updating, but 10 minutes is good enough. Let me take a coffee break. And now we can go ahead and produce the next mock-up for another 10 minutes. So it's going to be 20 in total. Again, this is such a forced thing and it's kind of like self-limit. So I just copied the artboard. Let's see what our wireframe says. Okay, so we have a back button, we have support, we have in transit type of deal. Pretty good. You're going to see how we are dev deviating from the original. We want to allow users to get back to full list of items. And as you can see here is what I'm talking about. The icon is not the same weight as the other one. We need thinner. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a map. I can just copy in the other one. I think it's high resolution enough. Let me align it to that side and then put our support icon just slightly on top of that, like so, let's say. We can make it expandable, so maybe if the user taps on it, it just expands. Let's remove that shadow. Now if we need that bar on top, we can make it maybe full screen. Just make the arrow white or let's say black really up to you to decide which one is most relevant and obvious to your users and next we can do something maybe add some actions to this first I want to figure out the vectors for let's say our shipment let's say that's how it goes maybe like so and when it goes out I'm again forcing I have another four minutes left for this effort, so I'm not, I can't really achieve much. Also, it's up to you, what's your end result? I just wanna take this product design and kinda use it in, in other efforts in this actual prototyping lesson. So here, I'm blurring out a little bit our block so that I could make the arrow white. And we have other things to do with our parcel bit, if you remember. Um, in transit, that's maybe fine. We could add maybe a bit more options to it. We could maybe add a bell, so maybe you can add notifications. So maybe if a user clicks on it, you can turn on the notifications and then you get a notification. Like so. And that's a simple app prototype which you could potentially improve on. I have one more minute left. What should I do? What should I do? Um, let's add a bit more option maybe to the map. 
a few finishing touches and that's your 20 minute design basically it's not perfect but that's okay i mean that's what you get for like a really quick prototyping effort and if we compare that with our let's say sketches from the scenario which we define as you can see we take it from the actual wireframe right there like so into those visual type of mockups it's quite minimal limited time again but basically this is my process of let's see how on a really high level i would take a scenario um, ID it and wireframe a little bit and then take it to product design and then it's a bit higher fidelity where the users or let's say uh, stakeholders would actually understand that how their product could look like and maybe potentially interact if I would make it clickable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, stay tuned for another video in Axure where I'm going to try to reuse some of these bits and make a tutorial of how to let's say use the mapping features but i hope this kind of gave you some ideas of how you can let's say approach your product design or just in general if you like design jams like that leave a comment down below subscribe to this channel give a like i really appreciate it and i'll see you next time